Hey, what's going on everybody? Monty here. Uh, today's video, I just wanted to go over GeForce Now. Like, what is it? Like, what's the program? How do you use it? You can play games on it. Does it cost anything? I'm going to go over all that in today's video. I uh, did have some questions about how, like, how to set it up. Like, uh, you know, some, some people have no idea what it is, so they're just curious. I figured I'd make this video real quick, uh, you know, just to give you guys an idea real quick of what it is. So I have NVIDIA GeForce's website pulled up. You can see here. Um, this is on my um, gaming computer, but I also have the Mac computer over here as well. And you can see here we on the general FAQ, the FAQ, uh, frequently asked questions. So uh, pretty much what is GeForce Now, right? So it says GeForce Now is NVIDIA's cloud-based game streaming service, uh, delivering real-time gameplay straight from the cloud to your laptop, desktop, Mac, Shield TV, or Android device. Uh, connect your store accounts. So store accounts are going to be like your Battle.net, Steam, Epic, um, GOG. Uh, there's a, quite a few of them, but I think you get what I'm saying. Um, you'll connect those to this account, and then you can stream your library of games that you already own. So like, for example, um, if I'm coming over here on the left side, uh, Valheim. I already own Valheim. Cyberpunk, I can play Cyberpunk. Uh, Path of Exile, Far Cry 5. So whatever games that I've already purchased you know i already bought um that are on like steam and all that i can play those um because i already you know i own them i'm just essentially streaming them from nvidia nvidia look at and look at geforce now is uh, a gaming computer in the cloud essentially right so nvidia already has like a processor and you know a whole gaming tower um reserved for you in a sense you know it's it's probably servers clustered together and, and instances and so on and so forth but i think you get what i'm saying so imagine your gaming computer or a gaming computer in the cloud that's what geforce now would be more or less um so anyways so that's that's essentially what it is you're you're able to stream the games um you know interact with them i the simple way i like to put it is it's like netflix but interactive netflix in a sense like you can control everything and it, it's really easy and then there's also cloud safe source supported games you can pick off where you left off on any supported devices wherever you are so essentially like i can go play this on the old imac that i got next to this computer and i can play geforce not i can play valheim i can play far cry 5 and get you know ultra graphics and all that and the reason why is because i'm just streaming the game so that's essentially like a brief overview, um, you know, and if you want to search on more on YouTube or um, I'll also leave the link to this uh, web page as well. So you can see if you want to research a little bit more exactly what it is, if there's things I didn't cover um, so far. But that's what GeForce Now is. It's a service that let you stream your games that you already own. Um, over the internet on, you could say, lower powered devices or just your regular computer, whatever kind of computer you want. If you want to use like a, you know, like a crappy old computer from, you know, 2012 or something, 2010, well, as long as you're, uh, you know, it's supported on GeForce Now and we'll look down at the specs here in a minute, uh, you can play all the latest games that anybody's, that we're playing, everybody's playing. Uh, so it's really, really cool. Uh, it says, where is GeForce Now available? Uh, North America, Europe. Um, that's where it's showing that. And then what are the supported countries for GeForce Now? So it's 80, over 80 countries. Uh, how do you join it? You visit the membership page and choose your preferred membership option. GeForce Now offers two membership options, free and founders. Uh, so I actually did get a founders um, with the 3090 that I got, but a uh, free account works the same exact way. Um, it's just, I believe on a free account, you get one hour and I'll link that below as well. It, it's a, a one hour. Here we go. What is the difference between standard and priority? Uh, it says free members are eligible for standard access while founders receive priority. Uh, during peak times, members may experience wait times, priority access, places founder members in front of the queue when starting a game. Members with standard access may experience longer wait times in the queue. So pretty much what it is is there might be a wait when you want a game uh, if you do the free option. And there's nothing wrong with the few free options. I, I, I tried it out, um, I don't know, probably about 6 p.m. a few nights ago, and it worked fine. Uh, then I managed to find the code um, for the um, founder's edition, so... Um, again, it doesn't really matter. Uh, extend on links. Uh, so pretty much what that means is instead of an hour, it doesn't boot you off. Uh, so right here it says they can last up to six hours for the founders. So if you do have a 3000 series graphics card, I believe you do get a code for GeForce now, or they may have stopped that promotion. It's, it's, it's hard to say. Um, 
but yeah, there's no limit how many times you can start the session. So pretty much you could just, if you're on the free uh, tier, you could just keep, uh, keep queuing up, queuing up, um, and keep playing. So credit card, you don't need a payment method on file to register for free membership. Um, you could see your GeForce Now membership on your account online. No membership, uh, you know, payment methods for the membership, you know, if you do the free tier. So um, free trials no longer uh, available for the uh, uh, founders. Games are available. You could see supported games. I'll, I'll put a link up here as well. Those, do you need the owner games? Yes, you need to own them, guys. Um, you know, these are the games that you purchased on Steam, GOG, uh, Epic, um, Origin, whatever, whatever other games I'm missing. It, it, pretty much what it does is it just lets you stream the games that you already own. Uh, some games are available in other countries, but I cannot play them. I did not hear about this. That's pretty interesting. Uh, but again, that would probably be meaning like the United States is probably not excluded, but like any other countries, like. I don't even know if this is available in China or not. I could see how that would be a problem, but uh, certain countries, you know, some games it's saying that uh, they're not available, which kind of sucks. So, um, you know, having streaming, uh, having an issue with streaming a game, you can, looks like you could chat with them. Future request. Okay, so this is for PC Mac. So like you have, like I said, you have an old computer, you really want a game. GeForce Now is is all, you know, you got to get it. Uh, PC Mac, you don't have to do any kind of drivers or anything because it's all handled by NVIDIA. Everything is a, is all exclusive to one application, the GeForce Now app, and that's all you need. You don't have to worry about any system updates. You don't have to worry about anything. Um, voice chat is supported on Mac and PC apps as well. You can voice chat, which is kind of cool. Uh, you can use Bluetooth wired microphones. That's really cool. So if you got like some AirPods, you're on like a like an like a Mac, you want you want to play some game, you can do that too. Um, Installing the games, um, you know, pretty easy. Um, so your games must be downloaded and installed from digital stores. Since it's on GeForce Now, it'll install very, very quick. Launch and play a game. Um, it's pretty easy. Uh, again, I have GeForce Now located over here. I just click on a game over here, click play. It'll automatically launch for me. All right, so, you know, it's very possible. Um, again, I haven't tried it. Uh, like I have an Xbox controller I can try, but uh, I haven't tried that yet. Uh, working at LG Force app now again. You can download it there. So quite a few, uh, quite a few games you can download um, and, and play out in GeForce now. All right, we'll get out of that. So that's pretty much like the FAQ, the facts, frequently asked questions. For those wondering about GeForce now, that's kind of like a, just a broad overview, real quick. And since I got you here, I don't want to make this video too long. My videos tend to take 30 to 45 minutes, and that's just a tad too long. So. I'm gonna try and make this video short. Um, I do have the Mac over here and I'm gonna go ahead and do a screen recording. Okay, so I got screen recording going on now. So you can see here on the Mac, uh, I have GeForce Now open. All right, so GeForce Now is open and you should be able to go on some option settings. There we go, settings. And you should be able to control some things. So you can see down here on the right side, I have my max bit rate set, the highest it'll go. I have it set on custom. Also have it set at uh, native resolution. Well, it's it's downscaled a little bit, but it's gonna look good. 1920 by 1200, that's 16 by 10 aspect ratio. For those wondering on a Mac, that's what we have, 16 by 10, uh, typically on MacBook Pros. Um, max frame, 60 frames a second. Also have adjust for network conditions and VSync is on as well. Um, again, I have AT&T fiber, so I'm plugged directly into this Mac. Uh, for those wondering, you only see one cable going to the Mac. That's because I'm using a CalDigit Soho, uh, S-O-H-O doc. It was like 70 bucks. Um, and I'm also have an anchor, uh, dongle plugged into that that has ethernet and USB. So I just have one cable with everything on it now. I'm going into the Mac, but anyways, so it's pretty simple. Um, those wondering, um, it is GeForce now. This is all free. It's just in order to play the game, you must own the game. So we'll go ahead and load Valheim up. I'm going to go ahead and click play. You're going to see it live exactly how quick it loads. Uh, again, it's doesn't really require any resources from the computer. Um, and the Wi-Fi connection, we'll pull that up real quick as well. All right. It says GeForce now requires at least 15 megabits per second. So pretty much any internet service provider, 
um, cell phone service provider. Um, so 15 megabits per second for 720p and 60 FPS and 25 megabits per second for 1080p at 60 frames. So the only requirement you need for GeForce Now other than owning the games is having um, internet speed of at least 15 megabits per second for 720p and 25 megabits. Um, I, I would imagine a lot of people probably in America probably have access to that. Otherwise, like if you're in like a rural area, uh, you're probably waiting on space, uh, SpaceX for the uh, Starlink. But um, for m- most people that are on like cable internet, like coax and just regular AT&T DSL and, um, and all that, it, you, you should have no problem with that. And it says you also need a hardwired Ethernet connection or 5 gigahertz uh, wireless router uh, Wi-Fi band. So me personally, I rather have everything hard link, you know, like hardwired. Um, that way, no interference. I get the max connection, zero latency or as low as latency as you can possibly get on what you can control. Uh, you can't control anything that happens past your uh, your your wireless gateway slash modem. Uh, of course, that's all, you know, has to do with the ISP. But for the most part, you know, just run a run a Ethernet cable. It'll save um, a lot of frustration. It'll save the, the game and everything else from glitching out. It's just a general practice rule just to plug everything in hardline if you're able to. If not, it says here 5 gigahertz wireless router works fine. I used it with 5 gigahertz. Haven't had any problems. Um, it says here if your Mac or notebook does not have an Ethernet port, you'll have to use an Ethernet adapter. Again, they sell lots of them on Amazon. You can get the Apple one, um, and you have to connect it, I think, at Thunderbolt 2 to Thunderbolt 3 Ethernet, which is just crazy. Or you could just go buy, like, an Anchor um, USB-C Ethernet adapter. That probably has USB ports on it already, less than 20 bucks. So that's cool. Um, Built-in uh, keyboard mice, those work. Recommend USB keyboard mice uh, for PC Mac. Mac users use a dedicated gaming mouse. Yeah, so that's why I like using the Razer Naga myself. The Razer Naga, I just... I just like the buttons on, I can program it. So like if I'm doing like Final Cut Pro, Premiere Pro, whatever, I can com- add key binding. So same thing with the Mac, uh, actually on the games, I can key bind stuff to this as well. So if I want to press number five to jump, I can key bind that. That's no problem. Um, it says here, uh, Sony DualShock 4 controllers, Bluetooth wireless, um, or wired and Bluetooth work, Logitech gamepad, um, Microsoft 360 and Xbox One controllers work. That's pretty cool. Um, those show USB wired in quotes, so probably not the, uh, wireless unless you have a receiver. Okay. Interesting. So, uh, real quick, just the last thing I'll go over hardware requirements, iMac 2009 and newer. So yes, on an old dinosaur iMac, that's, um, 12 years old, you can play GeForce Now on it. You can play Valheim. You can play Far Cry 5 on it. Ultimate graphic settings, as long as you have a 25 or at least a 15 megabit connection for 720p and then for 1080p, um, 25 megabits. So you can literally game on these. That is crazy. Uh, so, uh, iMac 20 inch late 2009 newer iMac 21.5 inch late 2009 and newer iMac 27 late 2012, uh, or newer MacBook, regular MacBook 2008 or newer. You can run it on it. That is, that is crazy. MacBook Pro Retina, mid-2017, newer. Interesting that the MacBook Pro uh, Retina. Oh, that's a MacBook Retina. Okay. It's interesting that they say MacBook. It must uh, have an, have something to do with uh, uh, the graphics, at least on, on some of these. But, uh, yeah, you could see you can have a dinosaur Mac and play it just fine. So that's really, really cool. If you're, like, stuck in a hotel, like, and you want to play some game, as long as the Wi-Fi is somewhat decent, like, this will run really good. Now, every so often there's, there might be an occasional sound stutter or something, but as far as like the display, like I've not noticed like any kind of glitching or anything. So like this is on one of my servers that I'm on. Um, there we go. This is on one of my servers that I have that I'm just uh, doing creative mode on. I'm just doing some crazy stuff. I'm just going to drop some things for you. All right, you can see here it's running really, really good. And I think it's F1. Okay, yeah, now you can see my frames per second. I mean, just look at how good that runs. Look at how 
just how responsive it is. And I got quite a lot, like I said, going on here and I'm getting 50, 60 frames easy. And I got the graphic settings on max. Well, I have it how I would want it. So like I have a 3090, but I don't have all this crap on max. It's because I'm going to show you here what it looks like. You have all this on max. It looks really, really dreamy. Not the kind of look I want to like a clear look, but like really sharp graphic texture look. So this is what it looks like for those wondering right now. Yeah, just basic, right? Okay. It looks like we're going to turn the graphic settings on max. So this is what it looks like. Tell me you see the difference. Uh, everything is just has a blur to it now. It's really dreamy looking. I mean, it looks fine. Um, you know, but, uh, I like having a clear look to it. I mean, look at that. This is what you can get on a 2008, 2009 iMac MacBook. Look at that. That is just crazy. See them rays from the sun or from the moon, actually. Look at how good that looks. I'll be getting 38, 40 frames a second, but yeah, I mean, this is very, very playable. Um, was it most Xbox games or Playstations or what at 30 frames? I think I, I don't play console. I have no idea. Um, but yeah, like even 30 is like still, you know, for a game like this, I wouldn't really care too much about the frames as long as it's 30 or above, but I mean, this is max settings, you know, everything maxed out, everything ticked on, on max. And you can see my frames. You can also see my ping as well. So it looks pretty good, right? So like this is really, really good. I'm going to cheat real quick. I'm really far away from the screen, guys, if you guys were wondering, so. I mean, I just made it daytime more or less so I can see better. Um, so this is what it looks like in the daytime. It's still 40, 40, 50 frames on ultra settings. Let's get in a boat. The everything is really responsive too. Um, and I'm just playing this game, just demonstrating this one. It's because this is what's everybody is going crazy about right now. And this is everything that everybody wants to play. So let's see here. Can I pedal? There we go. I don't really even feel a delay like in between. Uh, the mouse and the keyboard versus the game. Like it's, it feels so instant. Come on. It's right where I'm at the wind, where the wind is going. You see, yeah, it's, it's wanting to push me. But yeah, look at how good that looks. This is all stream too. All right, there we go. So yeah, that was Valheim real quick and you know, shoot, why not? While I'm here, I'll go ahead and show you guys Far Cry real quick as well. So you just exit off Valheim like that. That's it. I ask you about feedback. Okay. And I'm playing with a magic keyboard for those wondering. So it is kind of a little harder to play this just my orientation how i have my camera and stuff set up right now recording um i'm all the way over here back towards this way and everything is over way over there so you guys can see and you can see like on the screen see how it auto loads everything and it does it all for you you don't have to do anything but other than click play now a game like this it might be a little bit harder to play like a first person shooter just because 
any kind of delay. I mean, you could definitely play it. I would recommend like any single player games more than playable on, on GeForce now in a game like Valheim. That would be like a good game. You could play with servers, uh, like with, with friends and whatnot, just because, um, you know, there's not really going to be any problems with that, but like hardcore multiplayer games, like say you want to play overwatch, you want to play, you know, call of duty, Warzone, all that stuff. Um, well, first off, I don't think some of those games are supported on this, but second, just a delay. If you're trying to be competitive, I'd probably say stay away from GeForce now or at least try and see if it works for you or not. But like me personally, I probably wouldn't play some of these games on GeForce now just for the fact that it introduces some kind of delay, right? You know, so just want to avoid that. But yeah, so we'll see if we can skip past this. Okay, we skip past it. Again, this is another game that I can max out settings as well. So I have, like I said, a low-end computer. And as long as you have uh, Ethernet cable or Wi-Fi, uh, you know, 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, and, you know, you have 15 megs minimum, you could play this, you know, play any of these games. So pretty much you have a cheap PC essentially that you can use and play all the games on. Like there's a very, very slight delay I've noticed with this game, but if you don't care about it, you know, like if this is all you had, like, dude, like this is cool. Like you could probably see some of the motion is there might be a little drag or something to it. But yeah, keep in mind, this is all streamed and I'm pretty sure all the graphics are maxed out as well. Continue options. It's so now we turned. Um, now we turned all the graphics on max now. Now look at this. Look at how much better that looks. That's so cool. So this is, like I said, this is Far Cry 5. On max dot graphics, and I'm probably getting 60 frames because it doesn't feel really, you know, draggy. I mean, look at this. See some reflections going on. Again, there's an occasional stutter, and I'm on fiber internet for the way. By the way, if you, for those wondering, so there'll be an occasional stutter, but that's to be expected. I mean, and especially if you're using the free tier as well, like that's even more winning right there. Um, get you a cheap computer, you buy you a cheap hundred dollar computer somewhere, $200 computer, and you can do everything that I'm doing. You just have to buy the games. That's all. And I would say that's very well worth it. I don't know where I'm at. I mean, look at how good that looks like that is look at the water. It's a spotty connection on the right. The part of the game, or is that? I don't know. Again, if you play console, this is a step up from console, in my opinion. It's just the way everything looks, the way it interacts, even though you're streaming it. Like it has that, there's a very slight drag feel to it, but like you're getting the most frames, right? See, like, it's totally interactive. Like, it's still, like I said, it's just mainly the games you already have. Oh, I died. Anyways, I think you guys get the gist of this. You can play any game you own as long as it's supported by GeForce Now. I don't want to make this an any longer video. I'm already at 30 minutes. So, uh, anyways, this was GeForce Now on the Mac. Those wondering, uh, I am playing on a Mac, but I can also play it on the gaming computer here. I can also play it on my iMac that I have over there as well. Uh, you know, it's, it's doesn't really matter. I showed you guys, uh, previously the uh, requirements for it. So again, um, that's all you need really for it. You know, it's pretty basic, uh, 15 megs, you know, and you can get gaming. So 
It's really, really cool. Like I said, something to check out, guys. I'll drop the link down below. I'm not sponsored or anything by NVIDIA. I just I want to share the knowledge a little bit. It's because I don't think a lot of people know that they can do PC gaming on like the cheap, cheap. And you just need like a OK computer to browse the web, essentially. And you're more than likely going to be able to download GeForce now and play it. And like I said, you play all these games. Like, look at this. This is ultra graphics. You know, look at how, look at the shine, the, the the glare. You know, you see that? That is really, really cool. Max settings, and it looks it looks just looks badass, right? So you can do all that on GeForce Now for those wondering. It is free. You're just limited to an hour uh, playtime at a time. Once that's hours up, uh, you just queue again, and you can get back in and do the same thing uh, you're doing before is gaming. So, yeah, this is what it looks like. Again, perfect for single-player games, in my opinion. Multiplayer games, if you're playing Valheim on, on like, servers and stuff like that, yeah, it'd probably be fun. Um, Fortnite. You'd have to try it, really. I haven't tried that on here. But uh, otherwise, hope you guys enjoyed today's video about uh, GeForce Now, what it is, how to play on it, um, what you need to get going. So uh, have any questions for me, drop it down in the comment section down below. I'm always looking for video suggestions. Uh, you know, I get a lot of a lot of questions. People want to know certain things, so I just figure I'll make a video on it. It makes it really easy. I like sharing, uh, you know, sharing the knowledge and also uh, learning new things myself as well. So uh, I'm new with, uh, you know, creating videos. Um, you know, I'm trying to improve the video quality and everything. As you're able to see here, it looks really, really good. I am working on, um, you know, messing around with b-roll if you guys for those that are wondering uh, you know like a slider and stuff like that so you want to see some stuff like that just drop it down below let me know um again this is all work in progress uh, i'm trying new things out so hope you guys enjoyed today's video go ahead and subscribe hit that like button uh, i will see you on the next video thanks for watching